Well, folks, I'm going to be signing a presidential memorandum in just a minute here to establish the first ever White House initiative on women's health research. It's an effort made possible by uh, Jill, who is a long champion in women's health, and Jen Klein, Dr. Missouri, Maria Shriver, and others. Because the fact is that it requires all of government, not just NIH, but HHS, the VA, Defense Department, uh, and every agency in the government having anything to do with health. It requires them to come up with a report to me, uh, for me, that lays out what they can do collectively to improve women's health. Women make up more than half the population, but for too long they've been underrepresented when it comes to health research and the money spent on that research. That's going to change today. So this signing this, I'm setting up this group that within 45 days, all the government agencies that have anything to do with health have to report on exactly what they're doing now with regard to women's health and the suggestions they may have and how to deal with it. So let me now sign this and make it official and then yield to Jill. Well, not Jill, let me yield you first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, Maria, I am so grateful to you for bringing this to our attention. And it's your leadership that's really going to make the difference and has made the difference already. And also, thank you, Carolyn, for, you know, your involvement and your willingness to lead this effort. And, um, you know, Maria, after you came a couple of months ago and then I spoke to Joe, and uh, I have to say one of the things that I love most about Joe is, you know, you take something to him and he listens. And he did listen to us, and that's, and it's resulted in this memorandum. So thank you, Joe. We appreciate this. And women deserve better. And now we're going to get it. So thank you. You don't have to thank me. I didn't realize how, how much incongruity there was and how unbalanced it was. So God willing, we're going to solve that. All right. With regard to a potential shutdown, I understand that uh, the new Speaker of the House has a proposal that's being negotiated with the minority leader of the House and Senator Schumer and, uh, and uh, the uh, Republican leader are also talking about it. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Apparently, there's a meeting today at 4 or 5 o'clock on the Rules Committee, and uh, we'll see what happens. Would you veto the, the laggard CR? I'm not going to make a judgment what I'd veto, what I'd sign, but let's wait and see what they come up with. Sir, any specific any specific concerns about the hospitals in Gaza, sir? Have you urged Israel to take any specific precautions on the hospitals in Gaza? Thank you very much. The president's going to answer, Davis. The hospital in Gaza. The hospital in Gaza. Have you expressed any specific concerns to Israel on that, sir? Well, uh, you know, I uh, have not been reluctant in expressing my concerns that's going on. Um, and it's my hope and expectation that uh, there will be uh, less intrusive action relative to the hospital. Uh, we're in contact and we're with, uh, with the Israelis. Also, there is an effort to uh, uh, take this pause to deal with the release of prisoners. And that's being negotiated as well with the Qataris that are engaged and uh, so I remain somewhat hopeful, but the hospital must be protected. And any concern about your grandfather's release? 